well, a bit of an unusual thing to do for the channel on this particular occasion, um, but we're going to do an unboxing. Uh, now, I received this fine item in the post the other day. It is the Hanimex OHP Graphic Writer, an electronic graphic writer. Just as I received it, uh, very wisely the sender wrapped it in a plastic wrapping, which I've removed. It's been raining here almost continuously for the last week. It is winter, after all, in, in uh, England. Um, so, yeah, this is how I received it. It appears to have some boot prints on it, but it's not really damaged at all. Um, as I received it, let's see what we got in here. So, what have we got in the box today? Um, fairly standard um, opening the lid go and there it is looking pretty much as it was packaged by the manufacturer it, it was um, photographed by the, the seller so it has been removed from the box at some point there it goes ah what's that um, we've got some OHP sheets we've got a cardboard backing in there there's some pens that might give you some idea as to what this thing can actually do um, piece of cardboard. Right, okay. The absolutely vital operating instructions. We need those. Uh, come on. Come out of the damn box. Just slippery enough. It doesn't want to... There it is. Okay, so that's got rid of the cardboard, and we're now down to the polystyrene packaging. Two pieces of polystyrene and the slippery piece of plastic. Come off, it's upside down. There we go, right side up. So that's the item. Rather nice, isn't it? It's like a portable typewriter at this point. It has got a little carrying handle, so you can carry it around. And that folds into the back. Now, it does say it runs on four D cells here, um, which go in the little slot on the back. I haven't got four D cells handy, so I may have to make another video of actually trying this thing out. Let's get the cover off. How does the cover come off? There it goes. So there's the cover, and now we can see yet more of these uh, little pen pen nibs. There's a, just, a, just a pen nib and a coloured marker on there to say what colour they are. There it is in its original plastic film. Oh, ah, what was that? Oh, okay, we've lost the. Um, We've lost the little the little label that uh, is the sort of maker's name on the thing there, but that's a bit of glue failure. That's what we fix. Uh, so yeah, there we go. It's got a keyboard, quite a, a reasonable typewriter keyboard. Um, wouldn't be too shabby today to have a keyboard like that. Um, and it looks it's it looking like a typewriter, looking like a typewriter, but. I'm not a collector of typewriters, so what is this thing? Well, um, it says push there. Uh, how does this open? Ah, that little, that little catch there, um, that is what you have to slide to make it open. Uh, a piece of packaging, uh, a bit of cardboard saying remove before using. So let's remove that, as I haven't got the batteries for it right this minute, so we're not going to be using it right now, but that's a good sign that it hasn't, either it hasn't been used or someone's carefully put this back in the thing before shipping it. So now I think we can see it is a typewriter of sorts, but it hasn't got a type head. This thing, you type on it, and it's got buttons for bar graph, and another button there for 
linear graph and another button for pie chart and it's got record edit print these are just little little buttons that you can press it has a typewriter style um, roller on the side here that you can use to advance the paper and a little space there which I think that's for keeping the pens in so it's a typewriter that you can type on and it'll do graphs and it takes pens so this is a typewriter that writes with pens fantastic what a machine eh? Um, I'm glad it's got the instructions because I don't know how to work it um, I hope the pens have got some usable ink in them because they are a little bit old um, we need to find a date code we need to find a date on the manual does the manual have a date on it Ah, uh, it in Japan um, 8604 I wonder if that's the date code puts it in the, in the mid 1980s which sounds about right to me um, for a thing like this to be in the glorious 80s we've got all the instructions there so I think we can get, get this thing going um, assuming that the pens work so is it a plotter is it a typewriter well we'll find out it hasn't got an interface so I can't plug in um, say a parallel port or a, um, a serial port or whatever make it use it as a plotter but it is somewhere in between a typewriter and a pen plotter so keep watching uh, do subscribe to my channel if you want to see the rest of this sort of series of getting this thing going